I was daydreaming about the Big Bang earlier today. I mean, I figured I'm a red-blooded guy, and this is the kind of thing guys daydream about. This is normal, right? We can't really help it if we're ruled by... Uh, oh, wait a minute. This isn't going on YouTube, is it? No, this can't go on YouTube. Whoa, wait, oh, get, turn the... Okay, so, as I was saying, I was daydreaming about the Big Bang Theory earlier today, and I was thinking about how the universe is expanding but decelerating, and about how present-day astronomers and cosmologists believe that this is cyclical, this expansion and contraction of all the matter in the universe, from about the size of a baseball to a size bigger than it is today, and back to a baseball over and over again. Now think about what this means for a minute. You know how when we talk about the concept of time, we think of the Big Bang as the very beginning, somewhere on the order of 13.7 billion years ago? Well, consider what this means if a Big Bang and Great Crunch has happened numerous times before as seems likely from what we know about the universe. Think of all the advanced civilizations that certainly would have existed in these previous universes. There could have been millions of them throughout time, many much more advanced than we are, many of which could probably have traveled between planets, solar systems, or even between galaxies. In movies we see advanced civilizations that can solve problems like getting off of a dying planet to colonize another planet, or even another solar system. And certainly with a couple hundred more years of technology under our belt, some of that could be well within our reach as a species. Even if all of this comes to pass, though, here's the problem. Even if we were to solve every environmental or social problem on Earth that may threaten our long-term survival, and no matter how many places we colonize to ensure that one meteor strike or one supernova doesn't wipe us out all at the same time, and no matter how much knowledge we can generate and maintain about the universe, to virtually ensure that the human race or the descendants of the human race do not go extinct by any other relatively mundane cause, there is one force that it appears no other life form was ever able to stop. They were not able to stop the cycle of Big Bang and Great Crunch. As the universe stopped expanding and began contracting again, the process would have been slow at first. They could have enjoyed billions or even tens of billions of years of discovery, achievement, and wonder. As the universe shrank, though, solar systems and galaxies would begin colliding and being destroyed at a faster rate. The races remaining at the end could be unfathomably advanced and elegant, but still powerless to stop the inevitable. And that last remaining outpost of civilization in any of the iterations of our universe, do you think that they would be waiting and pleading for an unseen hand to save them from their fate? No. They would have gained enough knowledge to see the situation for what it is, just the cosmic reset button being pressed, an inevitable product of physics, and make the best of the remaining time to enjoy life to the fullest, something most of us humans are completely unable to do, but that I hope our descendants can accomplish. I have often thought that nothing is truly devoid of impact as long as it is remembered. While it's meaningless to the members of these long extinct civilizations that I'm thinking of them at this moment, it puts a genuine smile on my face, actually, because if I, a moderately advanced life form at best, is thinking of them, then I think it's very likely that another sentient race in a future version of the universe will think of humanity, at least in the abstract. And that's a nice thought. I can only hope that when the time came for those noble civilizations before us to bend to the one unyielding force that they could not stop, that they went out proud and with a bang, not a whimper. I hope we would do the same. Hmm. Come to think of it, maybe this video was about my original topic after all. <laughs>